Hi there, it's time to take two with Therese and I'm back for Alter New and today I have a stamp focus using the Versatile Vases stamp set. This stamp set has a set of coordinating dies as well as those wonderful new mask stencils and I'm going to be sharing a few techniques on how to get the most out of those today. So I'm going to be making two cards today and focusing on one card at a time. They are not very similar cards other than the fact that they've both got the same basic layout and they're both using the versatile vases. So I thought if I do one card um, and then walk you through the second card a little bit quicker. So basically what I'm doing here is using the mask as a normal mask. I have stamped my image out and colouring it with the same colour ink. This is the new Lime ink from Altenew. And this is almost like no line stamping here. Now I am really enjoying these blender brushes and I'm getting better at adding more colour on them. So pushing down on those bristles like you saw me doing uh, works really well if you want to add a bit of extra colour. Now I've re-stamped the mask on a piece of stamp mask paper and I've drawn a line through the centre of my image. Now this is going to give me uh, I only want to stamp half of the vase so um, by doing this I just followed the curve of the actual vase itself and eyeballed it. It doesn't have to be perfect, no one's going to measure. I've got the print block set here and I thought this would be a really fun set to make like a real sort of a retro style mask and I've got some milk chocolate ink that I'm adding this pattern with. Now I was really pleased that I used the Misty tool here today because I did have to re-stamp this a few times and when I lifted up the lid of the Misty I was very gentle so I didn't actually move my images and I used lots of magnets to hold it in place because I didn't want to start again. I'm using a similar technique on the second vase that I'm stamping out. So I've used, um, I think it was the vanilla cream and then I'm adding the colour. I think there was some other colour on this brush. I'm a bit lazy and I don't actually clean these brushes out properly. But it just kind of added a bit of an earthy tone to my vase. So I actually did come in with the sunray colour to make it just that little bit uh, warmer. I've done the same thing here again. I've actually cut out the top of my vase so that I can add the shadow in the very top of it. And then I've also, um, on this stamp mask, sorry, I, that was what I was using, and the stamp masking paper, I've also put some similar lines like I did for my other image. And then I'm just going to be using this to mask off sections and add some horizontal lines around my vase using some nice um, sort of retro style colors again so the bright orange and another brown and just follow my pattern down the vase I think this one here this vase here was probably my all-time favorite out of the three that I make today because I'm actually going to be doing three vases on both of the cards how cool is this? And this, I found, I find it really easy to add colour using these blending brushes and they're nice. You can get some really fine ones too. So when you've got an intricate sort of design like this, you're not having to try and get in there with a um, foam blending tool. I did come in and I did it on all of the images actually. I did come in and add some shading around the edges to make them look uh, spherical. Spherical? No, that's a round. That's a circle thing. Mm, 3D. <laughs> To make it look 3D and that's exactly what I'm doing here with the brown ink. I also added a black band around this particular vase. I thought that looked really funky. So for my stripy pottery vase I thought it would be really nice to add a glaze. So the way I did that was to add some embossing ink and I used my mask again to mask that off it saves me having to cut one out and it worked perfectly and I actually did do this a couple of times because I wanted this to be a nice um, thick glaze on my vase but to be honest it really didn't show up in the photos but in real life it looks awesome and for the green one for the green the big retro style one I just used my Versa marker which is the same or similar product 
and I just added some dots along there and added some platinum embossing powder this time. So here I'm adding my sentiment and a sprig of leaves to the front of my top fold card and I'm just holding that in place in my Mini Misty while I do that. I decided to ground my images using one of the grey artist markers here from Alta New and that actually does go through the front of the card. I normally don't use artist markers on directly on my card base but I'd already started making this design before I actually um, decided how I was going to colour it so I'll show you a little fix for that in a moment. I did some really simple artist marker colouring here today. My third vase I used another one of the print blocks set as well and then it was just a matter of popping up or sticking down all my little elements and cutting off the edge and the way I do that is just to flip it over and this is how I covered up the um, the ink that had come through the front of the card I just put a nice piece of coordinating cardstock from Alta New in there and that's from one of the scrapbook um, collections and I'll have that listed at my at the blog so now I'm on to the second card design and like I said this is a very similar card and that's in the fact that it's got the same layout but other than that it is quite different so I stamped out this is on a piece of cardstock the same size as my card front and what I've done is I've actually stamped out the three vases directly onto the cardstock using some really pale coloured inks. It was Mountain Mist, uh, Soft Lilac and the other one was um, Sea Glass I think it was. And I'm using another, I actually cut some fresh um, masks out of my stamp masking paper and what I do here is I'm using a combination of the the positive masks the negative masks and some of my own handmade masks to add some fluid or some water into the bottom of each of these vases and I really when I drew I only cut one mask out for the whole lot and that was on the biggest vase and that way I could use it on all three and I doing most of my shading here with the sea glass but I think I think there was a little bit of green I don't know can you tell <laughs> on my brush there so I found it easier just to do the large area um, with one color and then to make it a bit darker and make my shadowing look a bit little bit more natural for the three vases um, I would add the other masks and then add more color that way and then I can just pull away my plastic masks again. I wasn't sure how I was going to go with all of this and I think it worked out pretty well. Obviously it's not 100% realistic but it was fun. And I did add some, you know how the bottom of a glass vase or a jar looks thicker? I did add some shading to those and around the edges of the vases as well. I'll just use the mask stencil to do that and the blending brushes and I love the way that I can get really light colors with these blending brushes there's no way I would have been able to do that um, with one of the foam tools and you'll notice I did actually come in and stamp my images with the misty and that's because I wasn't sure if I was going to have to re-stamp them again but I only had to do it for the largest one the flowers that I've got today are from the beautiful peony set and I just wanted to show you the colouring of one of the flowers. I coloured them all in the same way. I only used one colour and I used the blender pen from Alta New. Added some colour like to the inner portion of the leaves and then blended out the leaves, <laughs> petals, and blended out the ends sort of leaving a white space on the on the ends of the petals and I really like the way this pink turned out and I did consider just doing one color for the whole three flowers but because my original plan was to do three different colors and I stuck with that plan in the end but I think doing all three flowers pink would have been lovely 
the only shading I added was with the grey marker and I come in and just added a touch of shading here and there and I cut them out with the coordinating dies which is the same that I did oh, I forgot to mention that on the vases <laughs> in the card before I did actually die cut them with the coordinating dies so I've got a stem here from I think this is the striped florals set and you could use any stem that you already have you must have one like in all the floral sets I've got there's some I don't know how many I've got but anyway I wanted it to look like the stem flowed from the into the water in the bottom of the vase so my theory was it's going to be darker before it hits the water and then when it hits the water it's going to be lighter so I masked off both ends of the um, stem of the flower and then I stamped the top portion with the forest glades and the bottom portion I stamped with the frayed leaf and I think that worked really well in retrospect I probably didn't even need to mask it the second time here on the top portion because it's a, it's a lighter color you're not really going to see it so I was kind of wasting a bit of effort there not that it was much effort really <laughs> moving a mask around twice there's not a lot of effort probably do that in my sleep I needed to ground the vases they looked like they were floating in midair so I used some pencils and that's because I didn't um, I wanted it to be fairly um, muted subtle yeah and I find it easier um, sometimes just to use my pencils to do that and when you're grounding something add the darker color right where the base of the image or the um, item is and then make sure that you go up a bit higher on each side of the vase in this case and I added a, a silver stone sentiment and I did use my misty I wasn't going to start this again uh -uh, no way I um, gotta say can you have favorites I think this Pima set has to be my favorite and I don't know I like the, all the old and new peony sets, but I think this one's my favorite. Don't tell the other sets, okay? And also, don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's always heaps to see and more on the way. So till next time, have a great day. Bye.